welcome to our fitness kickboxing class. A few things before we get ready and to do our class, make sure your space is clear. Get your gloves, if you're gonna have your gloves, get some water, towel or mat if you want it for the floor. Um, get your bag out, get near your bag, whatever you need. Let's get started um, by going through our joint exercises. So these are just um, some joint warm-ups, getting your body moving through most of all of our joints just so that we can prepare ourselves for this workout and then we'll go into our wrists this will just let you know uh, what you have to work with today and know where your body's at so that you can push it as hard as you would like to push it and make certain you take care of it go into our elbows and let's switch and go the other way and then from here let's go into our shoulders Try and make nice big circles. And then we'll switch and go the other way. And then let's also move the lateral, front and back. Not only does this get through your shoulders, it opens your chest and back as you move your arms front and back. From here, if you need some balance, get something to hold on to. And we're gonna take our legs straight, swing it front and back. And then let's bend it. Each time it goes front and back, you'll get a little bit of stretch through your legs as you do this. And then we'll go to the other leg. First, starting with it straight. And then we'll bend it. And then let's go back to that first leg. And we're gonna go sideways. It's gonna stay straight sideways only needs to go as high as your hip. So it's just about getting some different motion through your hip instead of just the front and back. And let's switch and we'll go to the other leg. Side to side. After this, we're gonna bring our feet together. So go ahead, let's bring our feet together. And we're gonna bend our knees and make circles with our knees. If you can keep your feet flat on the floor, keep your feet flat on the floor. That will also help your ankle rotation as well. And then let's switch, go in the other direction. And then let's put our toe on the floor and we're gonna make circles with our heel. And that's gonna rotate our ankle, our knee, and our hip. So it'll get a little bit of rotation through everything as we do this. And then we'll stop. And go the other direction. And then let's switch and we'll go to the other foot. Speaking of feet, we're going to be doing some footwork today. So our focus today is uh, working on our movement through the floor and keeping our feet going. We'll switch and go the other way. So how well we can uh, get that footwork working for us. All right. Have you put your gloves on? Get a small drink of water if you need it. We're going to start with our left foot in front, and we're just going to start with a bounce front and back, and then side to side. As you go forward or close with that, we're going to add a jab, so whatever foot's in front, that hand's going to be doing the jab. So keeping your hands up, get one foot in front, and we'll start. So the bounce, it's just a step, 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 here. And so we're going to do one forward, one back, one side, one side. So front, back, side, side. As you go front, you'll do a jab. Side, side. Front, back, side, side. It's just two steps each direction. Here, step, 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 step. Once you get this, you can either keep this pace or we can start and up the pace and it's just a bounce. Side, side, bounce. Side, side, get that rotation with that punch as well. And it's just about staying nice and light on those feet and keeping yourself moving. So if this eludes you and your feet aren't working like this, slow it back down. Let's switch and put the other foot forward and just make those steps happen. Bring both feet with you. So step, 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 step. 
Step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. Once you get that down, then you can start adding a little bit of bounce to it and getting yourself just moving along as your feet stay nice and tight underneath you and you stay on the ball of your foot. So you don't want to really be putting your heel down when you do this because you want to be able to have that movement to go any direction as you're doing this. All right, next bow, we're gonna stand still. We got 10 punches and 10 hooks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, and hooks. Four, five, six, seven, ten, and punches. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hooks. So, ten is stretches. You want to keep that rotation, eight, ten, and hooks. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and punch. Two, four, five, six, seven. Ten and hooks. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten and punches. Two, three, six, seven, ten and hooks. And then eight, nine, ten. Now you can go at every pace you want. If you want to speed this up, that's fine. You have this.
One, two, 
to what you're hitting. All right. Next, we have three stance switches. Sorry, lost my breath. Three stance switches. And then that round kick punch punch that we just did. So left foot, one, two, three. Round kick punch punch. Start again. One, two, three. Other leg now, round kick punch punch. One, two, three. Kick, punch, punch. One, two, three. Kick, punch, punch. One, two, 
sides. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, punch, two, three, four. One, two, three, punch, two, three, four. Still rotate with all of these punches. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're now switching feet. So it's close. Open. Two, three, on four. You punch, punch as you step forward, and then go back and start again. One, two, three, punch on that fourth one, and then come back and start again. So it's one, two, three, punch, two, three, four, return. One, two, three, punch, two, three, four, return. One, two, three, punch, two, three, four, return. So it's one, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, return. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, return. One, two, three, I'm finishing. All right, you get 15 seconds of a break. All right, this one is 45 seconds. All we're gonna do, really fast hooks. Go! Okay, you guys, an extra break in there. It's really short, 15 seconds. This one's only 45 seconds. So I want you to get those hooks going as fast as you can. Go, go, go. Try and get that arm parallel to the floor. It's all about getting those hooks going. Give you an extra 15 second break in there, so let's make certain we use this work time. Here we go. Keep it going. Go, go. You only have five more seconds. How fast can you make these hooks go? All right, one more 15 second. We're on to planks. If you want your gloves off, you can take them off. We're gonna be moving with our planks. So, you can either do these from your hands or from your elbows. We're going to be here, and you're going to move both hand and foot to the left, and then the right hand and foot come over. Then we go back to the right. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now let's do two. So we're going to go right, and then right again. And then we go left. Left again. 
little stretch forward. Try and keep as straight as you can. Don't let your chin come up. So keep your head nice and straight so you have a nice long back. And then we'll put our hands forward and round everything out. As you stretch your hands far forward as you can. Now, starting at the bottom of your tailbone, we're going to roll up that spine until our head is the last thing that comes up. And then we'll put your left leg out straight, bend your right leg, pull it in. And we're going to take our right hand and put it up in the air. You can keep your left one down here on your leg and we're going to reach our right hand over and try and grab our left toes. Just reach it towards that direction. Now that you're reaching it that direction, I want you to try and look under your arm up at the ceiling while still stretching towards your foot. And then we'll stretch up and switch legs. So now you'll keep your right hand down, our left hand will come up, and we're gonna reach our left hand over towards those right toes. And then I want you to look up over that arm, stretch your arm towards your toes still, but try and look up at the ceiling as you do this. You should feel a nice stretch through your side as you do this. And then we'll come up, and we'll have both legs out. Okay, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna put both of our hands out, and you're gonna stretch your hands towards your toes. Keep your back as flat as you can right now. Super flat back. See how close you can get to touching your toes. And then from here, I want you to just bend your back and see how close your head gets to the floor. Then you can bring your hands to the center. Stretch them out a little farther. Start at the base of your spine and roll up one vertebra at a time until your head is the last thing. Bring your legs together. We'll start with our hands up in the air. Stretch with a flat back as straight as you can. As far as you can keep it straight. Once it can't go anymore while it's straight, curve everything over. You can grab any part of your leg and then pull your body closer to your legs. A nice gentle stretch. Then start at the base of your spine, roll up, one vertebra at a time, until your head is the last thing. All right, congratulations, you have made it all the way.